In this video, I'm going to show you how John Beast runs the best defense in Madden. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is all about helping you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I upload eight videos a day on YouTube that are designed to give you some kind of tangible tip tactic or scheme that you can walk away with so make sure to subscribe that way you don't miss any of those uh, daily uploads now really quickly here I've been getting a lot of requests from my community about John Beast and his amazing 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 defense and I want to talk a little bit about it I want to talk about why it was so effective in Mutt and I want to talk about why I personally think that it's probably if not the best defense in the game it's definitely up there um, as a top elite defense now real quickly I want to go over coaching adjustments now I personally don't know for sure exactly what his coaching adjustments were because I couldn't see um, this tab when I was watching the film but I think it was something like this okay so we had man line on might have been that default he might have just man line line of scrimmage but we're gonna go ahead and put it on man line ball in our defense to play receiver Cornerback matchups, these were on balance. They might have been on speed. I don't really know for sure. Um, but you could put these on speed if you wanted to um, because we're going to be playing man-to-man -man coverage majority of this defense. Option defense is on conservative. Uh, tackling, and these two were probably on balance. And then this is where I was kind of not clear. I'm not sure 100%. What I would do from this defense is I would put my flats on 25 and then I would put my curl flats on five, and I would put my hooks on five yards. I don't know if that's exactly what he did, but that's what I would recommend doing from this defensive scheme. Now, the defense that he was in was the Baltimore Ravens playbook. Now, there's several reasons as to why someone would do that. I actually think that it would have been smarter for him to be in the New York Giants book because of the style of defense that he was playing. So, New York Giants, in my opinion, is, is a little bit better than, than for, for what he was trying to do. So, uh, anyways... Or not just better for what he was trying to do, but better just in general. Um, he was able to go to 3-3-5 wide against the run and things like that. But anyway, 2-4-5 double-A gap. This is one of the best defenses um, in the Madden community right now. Now, I personally do not think that it's the best defense because um, be, be, because it doesn't give you the best personnel. Okay, You have way too many linebackers on the field, in my opinion. But John Beast, in the way that he ran this, was really he used his linebackers as primarily pressure uh, pressure type of players. So, you know, that's obviously what I would recommend as well. Put as many linebackers in the game as you possibly can. Um, that's going to help a ton. So with the Packers, I'm just subbing in linebackers here. Now, we're going to dive into some of the setups from this formation as well here in just a second. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to come out in um, mid-blitz pretty much every single play. And then there's an audible, that, a specific audible that we want to have um, in, as our cover three audible. We want to have that Bucks zone blitz. We got, we're gonna. I personally recommend again coming out in mid blitz every play, so we don't need that in our audibles. We're just gonna put something else in here. Um, another defense that you could come out in every play is also the outside dog three because it's gonna get you a little bit better positioning. Um, that's how Manu runs it, but you know you can do whatever you want here. I would put cover three cloud in there. Um, just, just so that you have an, another option. But it's a very simple defense to run, and he was able to just simply lock down uh, Wesley in the club championships. So anyway, all we're going to do is we're just going to press coverage. That's literally all we're going to do here uh, with this defense. Now, one thing that I would actually recommend is I would actually recommend a show blitz type of look. Uh, he wasn't doing that, but that's what I would recommend. Um, and then we were going to basically spread our line, crash our line out, and then from there we're going to use our... our um, this guy on the running back and we're going to use him over where the running back would be so if the running back some people like to say that suggest you to put him right here but with this and what John Beast was doing he was getting a lot better pressure by putting him over here so basically if the running back blocks you're going to notice you're still going to get pressure right off the outside edge just like that right there um, with Rashawn Gary so that's one of the, the really the, the, the critical points of the defense is the ability to get this pressure right here and it's super super simple to set up literally all we're doing is we're press press coveraging um, now what I would do is I would go ahead and just leave the press especially in mutt if you don't feel comfortable pressing in mutt then you can also shade coverage one way or the other um, what I would recommend doing is I would recommend uh, shading inside 
and then shading underneath coverage. I think that's going to give you the best bang for your buck just as far as how this defense is going to work. And like I said, if you want to, you can bring this guy down here as well. It, you can kind of play with the placement. The way John Beast was doing it was he was putting him um, on the running back, like over in between the guard and the center. Um, or not, not in between the guard and the center, I'm sorry, in between the guard and the tackle. Um, or like just basically over the guard right here was kind of where he was putting him. So you could do that as well. But as you see, I mean, the pressure just the pressure just comes in pretty hard. Um, if you're, you know, again, you see here, even if they block a tight end, your pressure is going to come in. One of the other things that you can do out of this defense is let's say that um, let's say that from gun bunch they're max protecting, right? Wesley did this a lot in the game. Then what you can also do is you can blitz. So, for example, if I motion, I want, I want you to watch what happens when I motion Brad is scantling. You're going to notice that I, my guy follows him across, right? Well, if they do that, one of the things that you can also do is, you know, you can you can basically um, blitz your, your your players. So if you and that's why I, I think you know mo moving this guy down here allows him to be a blitz threat as well. So if they you know if they do go max protect, then you can just send that safety off the side, and then you're going to have another plus one advantage, um, and pretty much always going to be able to get pressure at the quarterback. So those are a couple little pro tips with this. Uh, with this defense. Now, one other thing I want to tell you about is the coverage defense aspect of this because the coverage defense as aspect of it is actually really, really important. And so what John Beast would do is just grab a safety. It, can, it doesn't matter which one, um, especially if they're going to move or anything. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to play cover one, um, and then all we're going to do is on the outside, we're going to drop these guys into uh, cloud flats just like this. We're probably going to shade coverage up whenever we play man coverage like this. Um, and basically, we're just going to, you know, let the two man, let the two man rush try to get home. But we got really, really good man to man coverage across the board. Um, it's going to be hard, and you typically get really, really good sheds out of this defense. Now, one other little thing that I would, I would actually say to do, especially if you were going to run some type of zone coverage, like if you were to run this buck zone blitz right here, this is where I would do this. So you would grab the three red hook, right? Um, and then what I would recommend doing is going ahead and essentially taking both of these inside guys and putting them on hard flats and then from there I would take your um, your your nose tackle type players and I would put them on um, you know some type of some type of zone so basically your pressure is going to be coming from you know your underneath but you get something like this right here you know and then you could basically do that and then all you got to really worry about is the crossing route um, on the on the on the back side here so we would probably blitz that outside linebacker and then this guy's going to be uh in a vertical hook so now you have three you know two yellows um but you can kind of mix and match the zones however you want this is just another way and i think you get better sheds when you blitz the outside guys so that's another option uh for you and again you can you can mix and match this however you want however you want to um one of the other things that i like to do is I like to play, you know, press man coverage. The one problem with this defense is, let's say that you're in a situation where you want to play press man to man coverage. That's where again you're going to get, a, you're going to have to get a justy. Um, but what I would do is I would go ahead and put this out. Put the I would basically run zone on one side of the defense, and then I would run I would run um, man uh, on the other side of the defense. So so like right here, I could man up that guy on the tight end on the outside there, you know, then I could do something like this and I could essentially have, um, you know, kind of everything bottled up with, with, uh, with zone coverage, uh, as well within this defense. So, you know, I could do something like this where I kind of mix and match the coverage, you know, but I still have those two people blitzing, which is the key. Um, cause you always want to have two people, but now I have essentially cover two man press with, you know, on the right. And then on the left side, I have, you know, some basic coverages as well. So, Point being, there's two primary things you're going to want to do with this defense. The first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to always want to um, start out, and I would run this a lot. Uh, I would run mid blitz a lot if you were running this because this is really what you're running it for. You're running it for the ability that you have to be able to get instant pressure at your at your opponent. The way that you run mid blitz can vary. Um, it can vary formation of formation, formation of formation. Um, what I like to do most is I just like to crash the line out. I actually like to bring this guy, you know, kind of right in here, right? Um, but just come down, let him kind of gather you, pick you up, and then you're going to get that plus one blitzing advantage. So 
that's how John Beast ran the best defense in the game, and it was truly um, his performance in the last um, three games has shown that his defense is elite, and um, he actually has a really good chance at winning the belt. So we're actually working on a 245 double A gap defensive guide as well as we speak, so be on the lookout for that. But thanks for watching this video. If you want to get uh, more full schemes and more full offenses and defenses, go ahead and text me. I release a new full scheme every week to my text message members. And those are a little bit more in-depth, a little bit more higher level schemes, and a little bit more inclusive and conclusive um, about what does an entire defense look like, what does an entire offense look like. So be sure to text me. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description. In the last text message membership video, we broke down the 335 wide defense. We've also broken down the trips tied in, the gun bunch, all kinds of stuff. So make sure to text me uh, for those schemes. Thanks for watching, and we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll see you there.